peace, blessings, and love to you and your families, and may your how will bless the sins here as always. So this video is going to be called, The Children Slain With Their Parents. And we're going to talk about the children of the watchers, the children of fornication, the children of adulterers, the children who worship wood and stone. So let's start off in Psalms chapter 21 verse 1. For the director of music, a psalm of David. The king rejoices in your strength, Yahweh. How great is his joy in the victories you give. Because quickly, this is a precept to the scripture here. Proverbs chapter 21 verse 31 says, The horse is made ready for the day of battle, but victory rests with Yahweh. So you can only become successful once you have Yahweh, the one true living God in your life. That means that he approves of your doing. So, it says here now in Psalms 21 verse 2, You have granted him his heart's desire and have not withheld the request of his lips. You came to greet him with rich blessings and placed a crown of pure gold on his head. He asked you for life and you gave it to him length of days forever and ever through the victories you gave his glory is great so again it's always because of the name of the Most High that we are victorious it's always because of the sake of the Most High that one man may get honored one man may get great glory because why well again through the victories you gave, His glory is great. It's all through the Most High Yahweh. It says, You have bestowed on Him splendor and majesty. Surely you have granted Him unending blessings and made Him glad with the joy of your presence. For the King trusts in Yahweh through the unfailing love of the Most High. He will not be shaken. So, we must understand that life can be very, very bitter. Life can be very, very hard, especially when you don't have the Most High Yahweh involved in your life. Life becomes almost a hundred times more difficult, okay? Because you're going to be stuck with unanswered questions, you know? You're not going to know which way to go. This is why the Most High Yahweh is our shepherd. This is the reason why he is our comforter. Because he guides us in the way that we should go before it's too late. You see that? This is why it says this here. Job chapter 5 verse 17. Blessed is the one whom the Most High corrects. So do not despise the discipline of the Almighty. For he wounds, but he also binds up. He injures, but his hands also heal. And it goes hand in hand with the scripture here. Alright, so let's start off in Job. Chapter 36, verse 10. He makes them listen to correction and commands them to repent of their evil. If they obey and serve him, they will spend the rest of their days in prosperity and their years in contentment in other words you will lay down with no one to make you afraid in other words the most high Yahweh will continue to give you your fruitful thoughts he will continue to bless you as long as you are following in his ways as long as you are always being zealous but if they do not listen they will perish by the sword and die without knowledge furthermore it says the godless in heart harbor resentment even when he fetters them they do not cry for help so this is the reason why this scripture says this here in Isaiah chapter 28 verse 22 now stop your mocking or your chains your fetters will become heavier 
Yahweh, Yahweh Almighty has told me of the destruction decreed against the whole land. Remember, the Most High Yahweh says this is the curse that he was sent forth throughout the whole land. Well, Yahweh Almighty has told me of the destruction decreed against the whole land. So, this is why it says, listen and hear my voice. Pay attention and hear what I say. And what the Most High Yahweh says, he says to repent to turn to him because Yahweh our God he does not delight in the death of the wicked so now let's read Psalms 25 and 12 who then are those who fear Yahweh he will instruct them in the ways they should choose they will spend their days in prosperity and their descendants will inherit the land so this is why the most high Yahweh says he's giving everybody a chance we will no longer share the inequities of our ancestors our teeth will not be set on edge Yahweh confides in those who fear him he makes his covenant known to them just like it says in Malachi chapter 3 verse 16 my eyes are ever on Yahweh, for only He will release my feet from the snare. You see that? So again, only the Most High Yahweh can save you from death. And death is religion. Death is what's out there. Making you all about the money. Making you all about everything else that has nothing to do with the Most High. Those are the snares out there. So it says here, Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. So the Most High Yahweh, He deals with the lowly. You understand that? He does not deal with one who is rich and famous and have a whole bunch of followers and friends and everybody knows them. The Most High Yahweh does not deal with such people because such people are proud and arrogant. They don't want to turn to Him. They're only about themselves. They're only about their money. But the Most High Yahweh, He deals with the lowly. You understand that? Those who do not want to be like everybody else. Those who do not wish to be bothered with the company of the godless. Okay? So now let's go ahead and read Isaiah chapter 50 verse 4. The sovereign Yahweh has given me a well-instructed tongue. Right? Just like we read in Psalms chapter 25 verse uh, 12. Who then are those who fear Yahweh? He will instruct them in the ways they should go. Or rather say they should choose. So, the sovereign Yahweh has given me a well-instructed tongue to know the word that sustains the wary. You see that? So his word will sustain you. This is the reason why his word is considered to be that spiritual manna. His word is, is considered to be that spiritual water. So again, the Most High Yahweh will give you a well, a well instructed tongue to know the word that sustains the weary. He wakens me morning by morning. Again, every new day, the Most High Yahweh's mercies do not fail. That means that if He gave you another day to live, if you woke up and you're able to breathe and your heart is still pumping and you're able to still think, then guess what? His mercies are upon you. What do you think the Most High Yahweh says? That he even lets the wicked wake up another day, but the wicked thinks that it's because of their own power that they're, you know, able to wake up another day. The wicked think it's because of themselves that they're still around. But remember, the eyes of the Most High are upon the righteous and as well as the wicked. Okay? Just like the Most High Yahweh says that the wicked, they have a day in store. Okay? A great day. Of judgment that is in store for them for all the proud all the evil because they do not give reverence to the Most High they think that it's because of themselves that they're able to do what they do here on this earth and they don't understand that the Most High Yahweh you see he will make you so proud that you will think this you will think to yourself that you are a God you will think to yourself that you are somebody and the Most High will let you 
you know because again both deceive and deceiver are his so he will let you think that you are somebody he will let you think that you are this almighty powerful god when in reality you're just a mortal okay and then when that day comes that he shows you that you're just a mortal that's when you're gonna understand who's god that's when you're gonna understand that it was him that let you live here on this earth so let's go ahead and continue here it says the sovereign Yahweh has opened my ears I have not been rebellious I have not turned away so let's go ahead and read Ecclesiastes 7 and 12 wisdom is a shelter as money is a shelter but the advantage of knowledge is this wisdom preserves those who have it just like it says here in Proverbs chapter 10 verse 15 well, let's start off at verse 14. The wise store up knowledge, but the mouth of a fool invites ruin, which we will be talking about the ruins of our people because of their mouth. The wealth of the rich is their fortified city, but poverty is the ruin of the poor. So in all other words, the rich get richer and the poor stay poor. It says the wages of the righteous is life. You see that? Take notes here, okay? For all you people out there that want to continue to go to church and give them your tights. Because why? Because you think that's the right thing. You think that's what's going to let you live here on this earth. But look what the Bible says. The wages of the righteous is life. So what are you doing? Giving your money to your pastor. I mean, the Most High Yahweh says you're supposed to honor him with the first of your crops, the first of your wealth, and you think it's talking about money, right? You think it's talking about coin and paper. Get out of here. That was made by men. But life, the spirit that's in you, that was made by the Most High Yahweh. Something that men is trying to figure out how to create, but they just can't because they're not the creator. You see that? They're just mere mortals who think that they're gods. So again, the wages of the righteous is life. In other words, the Most High is the one who gives you another day to live here. He is the one who increases our numbers and wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and as well as our well-being. If he wants to give us uh, 1,000 years to live, he'll give us 1,000 years to live. Whether anybody decides that's true or not, but if the Most High wants to do it, he'll do it. Remember, is there anything impossible for the Most High to do? No, there isn't. But things are impossible for men to try to do, especially when they try to do things that the Most High Yahweh only can do. It's impossible for them to do that. All right. Isaiah 66 and 15. See, Yahweh is coming with fire. And his chariots are like a whirlwind. He will bring down his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire so this is the reason why a lot of people are going to feel the burn in order for them to learn if not then they will just get burnt and become dross and then that's it they're forgotten about all right furthermore it says for with fire and with his sword yahweh will execute judgment on all peoples see that so understand this here it's not about you know attacking one certain individual it's not about picking and bullying certain people no the most high house says that his judgment will be upon all peoples of all colors of all languages why because they are the same ones who are going to be purified but only one third of that crowd that we forget about that the most high house wrath is upon all these people ezekiel chapter 7 verse 12 the time has come, the day has arrived. Let not the buyer rejoice. You see that? Who's the buyer? These people that's going to church, giving these damn pastors and men their money. Why? Oh, because they think that's going to add on to their life. <laughs> but again, the Most High House says that the wages of the righteous is life. How about that? So let not the buyer rejoice. Nope. This is not a time for you people to be rejoicing instead. This is a time for you to be lamenting, to be mourning. Why? Because this is the time of judgment. Punishment has come. The day of God that you've been waiting for is in your face, whether you believe it or not. That's the reason why you can't see it. That's the reason why you're in darkness now. Do you understand? 
So let not the buyer rejoice, nor the seller grieve, for my wrath is on the whole crowd. It says the seller will not recover the property that was sold. Why? Because it's going to be burnt into the fire. That's why. It says as long as both buyer and seller live. For the vision concerning the whole crowd will not be reversed. In other words, there's nothing that nobody can do about it. Whether you like it or not. For the vision concerning the whole crowd will not be reversed. Because of their sins, not one of them will preserve their life. Why? Because wisdom preserves our life. The wisdom of Yahweh specifically. Because people think that they got wisdom and they're somebody and they're smart. Right? Please, whatever. Whoever put that battery in your back, tell them to take it off. Because you're just going to make yourself look stupid. Okay? That's why it says, do not be rejoicing. Do not be glad. Because this is a time of punishment. Remember that. This is a time of judgment for a lot of you people in the world that think that this is a game. You're going to understand that there is only but one God. His name is Yahweh. Whether you like it, whether you love it, you will never be able to put anything above it. Understand that. Get used to it. This is not a threat. It is a promise. This is why it says this here. They have blown the trumpet. They have made all things ready. But no one will go into battle for my wrath is on the whole crowd see that so this is why it says here in Isaiah 66 and 16 for with fire and with his sword Yahweh will execute judgment on all people and many will be those slain by Yahweh the children with their mothers which we will be talking about we haven't even got into it sorry but you know that's how the spirit of Yahweh works and we will continue so it says, those who consecrate and purify themselves to go into the gardens, following one who is among those who eat the flesh of pigs, rats, and other unclean things, they will meet their end together with the one they follow, declares Yahweh.